clap from the top. I never think of giving up. The only thing I think of is the moment and the finish line. In our sport, where we have long races, many bad thoughts, bad feelings can happen to you. To overcome those can make you win the race or lose it. I grew up in Heidelberg in a very nice city in Germany. I was not into any kind of sport during that time. At some point I found out that I'm faster with my bike on my way to the school uh, than public transport. There was 60k per day, so that was how I got into endurance sport. And it took me very long until I figured out that I have a competitive side inside of myself. I was age 25 when I got into triathlon. Before that, I always thought I will be a, like a lawyer or something like this. So I never imagined to be an uh, athlete. My first ever triathlon was a local race. You climb 800 meters on the bike and I think around 400 on the run, so it's a tough one. I still remember I couldn't really swim before I did that first race, but the swim was in the river with the current, so I thought, okay, I will get to the exit, swim exits, no matter what, because of the current. I was far behind after the swim, but I soon realized that I, you know, continuously pick up um, places on the bike and that was so motivational. And then it continued to be like this on the run and I think I ended up fifth or sixth. And it felt so amazing for me to feel like I can overtake people or especially men. I came up with my new hobby to um, overtake men <laughs> as my new hobby because they are always so angry if like a woman chicks them. My first ever triathlon win, I remember overtaking girls that I always looked up to and really that feeling to be in the lead of a race for the first time, that was so unbelievable. I think it gave me so much adrenaline or whatever because I really feel like something pushes me forward to the finish line. That was just a feeling that still gives me goosebumps right now. There was a point where I started to get more ambitious because I wanted to be good. When you hit a certain level in a sport, you know, you always want to climb that level. I have a lot of motivation and passion for what I do. And if you do triathlon at this level, it needs to be your lifestyle. If you start quitting races, it gets easier to quit and you have more excuses in your head so I don't want to have any excuses in my head. You know if you always try not to hurt yourself you will never get better. It helps me to become a better triathlete at the end if I just can raise my skill level. I love my training. I could train every day, like three sessions, that's no problem. That's what I ask for. I always try to become the best version of myself. Like we always look for things to improve. If I know a race is coming up, like every cell in my body, you know, gets ready for that moment. I feel like I can pass on a lot of my motivation to others and also inspire others to try new things, to get into sport and care about your health. I think, yeah, this is something I'm good at. You might feel like this is a sacrifice, but I know, you know, this is only a certain period in my life. So I enjoy that to the fullest, and I, but I also look forward to what comes after.